And he's back. Jade Barron, uh, the defensive back out of Pflugerville, has decided to return for a fifth season with the University of Texas. Uh, he has been a two-year starter for Texas, uh, tallying 59 tackles this past year, one interception. He was injured much of the year dealing with a toe injury. Even though he had accepted a senior bowl invite, Barron announcing via Instagram earlier, just moments ago, that he is returning to Texas for another year. Uh, this uh, puts the Longhorns in a great position in the secondary where just uh, literally not more than a month at, a month ago when the portal opened, you know, and we saw all these safeties leave like Jaron Thompson, Keaton Crawford. Uh, the, the idea that Texas is now, Jalen Catalan, Texas is now going to have a strength not only at nickel, but at safety, it looks like uh, so far. Let's listen uh, to John A. Barron and his announcement. The 2005 Dorp Award to Michael Huff, University of Texas. Guess I'm back. <laughs> there you go, Johnny Barron. It looks like he may be wearing number seven in the future, guys. Uh, that's Michael Huff's old number. Of course, Johnny's been number 23. Uh, for a couple years for the Longhorns. Uh, but this is a big news because uh, he joins not only uh, himself at Star, but Texas also recruited Andrew Makuba uh, to play Star. Uh, that is the uh, young man out of Clemson via Austin LBJ. Uh, he has started two years at Clemson. It gives Texas some uh, versatility in the secondary, which is something that we've been talking about as a need for the Longhorns. One thing to mention real quick on this, uh, I am told that part of uh, Jade wanting to return to Texas is not just playing some of the star position, but he also wants to play a little bit of cornerback, if at all possible. Uh, so we may, you may see some rotation there. You may see sets where Makuba stays at star and uh, Jade Barron plays corner some. There's just gives It just gives Pete Kwiatkowski so many more options uh, in coverage than maybe what he's had in the recent past. Uh, this is a big move for the Longhorns. Uh, if we could put up the uh, depth chart right now, please, that would be great. I want to go over this because I think it's important uh, for people to see it. Right now at cornerback, uh, you have the incumbent starters, Terrence Brooks and Manny Muhammad. Manny Muhammad has played both field and boundary. I've got him penciled in at boundary rate right now and uh, 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 Terrence Brooks at field. At star, you obviously have to have Jade Barron penciled in there. I've moved Andrew Makuba to safety uh, with uh, Barron coming back uh, and alongside Derek Williams, although we all, we all know Michael Taff is going to play. They're probably going to find some time for Jelani McDonald and Xavier Filsamy. Uh, this is a much different looking secondary now with the return of Jade Barron from a depth perspective. And this doesn't mean that Texas is done recruiting in the secondary either or uh, just throwing in the towel uh, as far as getting even better. Jabbar Muhammad, uh, the defensive back, first team all Pac-12 uh, player at the University of Washington, went into the portal yesterday. Uh, Oregon already made a home visit this earlier this morning. According to Jerry Hamilton of On3, Texas is also meeting with Jabbar Muhammad today uh, or tonight as we speak, kind of, uh, according to his Twitter account. Uh, big time news there in that uh, this is clearly a situation where Texas has no interest in just standing pat. They're all about getting better. Jabbar Muhammad, uh, a first-team All-Pac-12 performer. Uh, Longhorns looking to do as much as they can right now uh, as it relates uh, to the secondary to kind of reinforce what they have. I'm also told uh, that uh, there is some other things afoot that might help uh, and reinforce the secondary position coach's situation where there might be an off-field analyst coming uh, to join the, uh, the uh, Longhorns. Uh, I'll have more on that if I get the specifics. But uh, the long and short of it, Pete Kwiatkowski, Blake Gideon, uh, and uh, Terry Joseph doing work uh, with getting Jade Barron to return. I'm sure NIL had a part to play in it too. So hats off to those guys. And then I want to say this, uh, hats off to Steve Sarkeesian. Again, uh, not only is, is uh, Jade Barron coming back, but you also have Jake Majors. David Benda made a big decision to return uh, to Austin as well. Uh, those guys, Alfred Collins, uh, started it all off. 
obviously. Uh, those guys have all committed to playing for Texas again next year. And the big thing here, guys, for me, is it speaks to exactly what they're doing right now off the field. Steve Sarkeesian, not only are they winning on the field and people and, and players like to be part of that, but clearly the culture inside the building is the right. You don't have guys that have already accepted bids uh, to the Senior Bowl, then not go to the Senior Bowl. That, that's just not normal. Uh, but uh, big news there uh, for the Longhorns. John A. Barron returns. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but Texas still is uh, trying to figure out its uh, defensive line coach. The Longhorns uh, have a number of possibilities. Uh, some can come from the pro ranks, uh, some in the, in the college ranks. We're still waiting on Freddie Roach, uh, the defensive line coach out of Alabama. Uh, we do not know if he's staying with Alabama and Kalen DeBoer uh, quite yet. If he is, uh, I think that opens up some possibilities uh, for the Longhorns. Uh, Rod Wright is an assistant for the Houston Texans right now. Zarnell Fitch at Texas Tech, uh, among those guys, as well as guys like Ed Orgeron, uh, Clint Hurt, Brian Nielsen. I've heard a lot of names. Uh, Frank Oakham at Toledo. There's a lot of names out there that are high-quality defensive line coaches that Steve Sarkeesian uh, can pick from. Uh, that is a, certainly a situation that we're monitoring, as well as the four official visitors that are on campus right now, three of which have not made a decision on their school. Uh, Aaron Butler out of Calabasas, California, has already committed to Texas. He's the wide receiver. Uh, but we're awaiting word and seeing uh, exactly where Texas ends up with Isaiah Bond. That's the big name right now. Uh, the wide receiver from the University of Alabama by way of the state of Georgia uh, is on campus. Uh, Steve Sarkeesian has clearly made him a priority in this portal recruiting class. He is considered the number one wide receiver in the country in the portal. Uh, that's a that's your replacement for Xavier Worthy, folks, if you're looking for one. Uh, that's, that's what they're looking at right now. Uh, there's also Silas Bolden, another wide receiver, uh, smaller guy, but also a good return guy. He is uh, in, in from Oregon State. Uh, he would not be a midterm guy. He would be a uh, summer enrollee. And then you also have another uh, another guy from Alabama, Kendrick Blackshire, the linebacker who's more of a dump, downhill thumper. I thought perhaps Texas might pass on Blackshire given that David Bend is coming back. But again, you're going into the SEC and you don't want to be uh, one deep. Uh, we talked about this the other day. Each and every position this year, including from quarterback to running back to wide receiver, DB, almost every single position except for linebacker had a serious injury. And even linebacker uh, with Jalen Ford played through a hernia problem all season long. So numbers and depth will matter late in the year. Uh, Longhorn's doing a good job here in the secondary, in my opinion, by adding or keeping Jade Barron, adding Andrew Makuba. Uh, look, I don't know if the secondary is going to be better than last than last year because uh, we got to see what happens with the loss of Byron Murphy and Tavondre Sweat uh, getting that pressure up the middle. But I think man for man, this Texas secondary should be appreciably better than it was a year ago. More speed, more coverage ability, uh, a year older for some of the guys that I think are really, really talented, like Manny Muhammad and Derek Williams. Then you have a guy that's a glue guy like Michael Taft. Uh, appreciate those guys. So, uh, look, Longhorn should be good. Big news, though. Uh, John A. Barron uh, back for another year in Burn Orange. Looks like he's changing to number seven. Uh, John A., hook him, buddy.